sweet sound of a generator. That board is super thick. Yeah. Okay. All aboard. Okay. Got it? Okay, you Okay. That's why you get the two strike. Yeah, so give me a little bit. <laughs> Next level, eh? Yeah, yeah. Cyril wants to be carried to the car. No, he levitated. wants to be levitated. He's asking us to use our witchy powers in the daylight, which is dangerous. I could levitate you, but I'm gonna have to get a running start. <laughs> <laughs> so Back in Reba again. <laughs> yeah, here we are. She's full of things that need to be donated and go to storage and go to coffee places. Feels like just yesterday we were driving this truck through Mexico. Oh, wait a second, it was just yesterday. All right, we're gonna go get me a coffee because I have a headache. I am not firing on all cylinders today, you guys, at all. I'm like drawing blanks. I also have like a little bit dark circles over my eyes too. What's going on? So this is today's upload spot, which has been beautiful. We're gonna go find a book. We've uploaded things, then we're gonna buy a book. We have the treats. Yeah. Oh, come. They were keto. No, they were. Whew, the sun is bright out today. Uh, we got another present from Cuddle Boat, which is like a thickened epoxy bilge coat, and I am super stoked about it. I think it's gonna make the inside of Houdini. Gorgeous. Here comes the most handsome Sherpa slash engineer slash bilge monkey I've ever met. There slash he is. Gondola oh. driver. Your hair looks Ooh, you real good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, Nick. Coming in hot. I don't know which way. Oh boy. Thank you. Where should I sit? Here? Yeah, out of the water. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a new day and we are in Bellingham and we have someone coming out to take a look and possibly put some letters on the back of the boat. I know that my blue tape job was absolutely stunning but I think it's time to maybe upgrade. So Mackenzie's gonna come out and take a look and give us some ideas on some cool stuff we can do on the back of the boat. So it's exciting. Who's here, Poodle? There they are. Hey, how's it going? So what do you think? It looks so good, right? So if we went out to the Sarah window, it looks like we got a two and three quarters. So zero to two and three quarters. In news, in new news, in other news, in news that's happening right now, Joy is here. Hi. <laughs> and she brought a few things. She brought new seats. Here, these are ostrich, faux ostrich, marine. Poodle, you're really pushing your luck with your face on the table there. Um, because the foam we used wasn't so foamy anymore. We got squishy so we fixed it when i say we i mean joy joy fixed it i didn't fix it she also made a bimini top so now we're not going to get rained on so we're going to go install that right now so let's go up all right so this side goes up up and then okay so let's so it's gonna go swing this okay it feels like with these lines down that we're at the big tops <laughs> you know <laughs> with the tent yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it looks fantastic. I am very happy to be out of the rain. Farewell, Joy. See you later. Nice bimini. <laughs> Wait, thank you. <laughs> okay, Joy is back. She wasn't gone for long. Now we're measuring around the back of the boat for what is it called, Cyril? Uh, splash Dodger. I think. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I read in the book yesterday called it Splash Dodger. And you put your name on it sometimes. They're like 
they're sort of like lead cloths for the so the verdict is we don't know what it's called, but it's a piece of fabric. Oh, the sweet sound of no oh. generator. Wow. <laughs> uh, the the idea is that it's gonna keep us out of the wind. It's the uh, un the unwinder. I think So there's a few more things to do before we can get the sails up, but I am incredibly grateful to be back out here on my big beautiful boats. Good job, Houdini. So it is supposed to be blowing like stink today and we're supposed to be going straight into it, but it's actually pretty beautiful. I got up at about 5.20 this morning, do a little yoga and a uh, little meditation. And then we got the show on the road nice and early. So it looks like we might, fingers crossed, just beat the bad weather. So I'm excited about that. So we're on our way right now back to Lopez and there's a nice protected harbor there. And yeah, it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna drop the hook there. Searle's going to hang out on the boat and I'm going to go back to pick up my son. And I'm super stoked about that. So we're trying to get a lot of projects done so it's nice and safe and comfortable for everyone. And yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun. So lots of good stuff on the horizon. Uh, just gotta, just gotta get these sails up so we can be sailors again. news is it's sunny and the coffee is being made. Bad news. It's messy in here. Whew, it is windy outside and today is the moment of truth. We are up top and we are about to hoist the new main and fingers crossed we did the measurements better than our rigger. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna go up top and we're gonna hook the sail up. We've built some lazy jacks, which I didn't film because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work, but it did work. And we're gonna ex we're gonna explain it. We're gonna show it to you. So let's head up top. This is not going to be uh, something that we can explain right now because it's blowing a little bit, and it might even be blowing a little too hard to install these sails. But I'm so excited. So let's go. Here is the new 2.0 mainsail, and here are the lazy jacks that this fine gentleman has engineered. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty windy out here, so we'll explain this to them later. Poodle, are you ready to open these? Bam, 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 bam. Okay. There's things I'm willing to do and there's things I'm not willing to do. And open the battens on this giant sail. Watch out, Poodle, we love you. It's not one of them. You already missed a good part. You already sprung on me. Did you open the other ones already? Uh, We're gonna wait on those, huh? Those are for the next one, yeah. Yikes. Brave man. Oh, I was just gonna cut them all at the same time as fast as I could and try to jump. 
Well, that'd be about it. Yeah. Okay, I think we got it. Oh. Woo! Ah! Ah! Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I there okay. it is. <laughs> it did whack me really hard. Oh, are you okay? like some good news. Woo! It's my happy dance. So I just completed refurbishing the port side Genoa track. Uh, basically I drilled out all the holes that would be to lock a car up to 5 sixteenths. I made them deeper. Um, previously the last two times the boat went sailing the Genoa cars went flying forward. I also put an extra car on there. It's not being used right now, but it can eventually be used for something else. Also gave the whole surface a light file, uh, knocked down all the tall points, high points, and then just sanded it down to about 400 grit. And then I waxed it just with some colonite the big thing is you got to do a lot of cleanup when you're drilling that many holes on the deck because all those little sharp pieces of metal goes everywhere so it's a very slow tedious process and the last thing I did was put the track ends on uh, unfortunately I can't put both screws through because the other one's been sheared off or cut off so I'll just show you what it looks like now. So this is a before. You can see that the holes are only a quarter inch and they're also very shallow. And this is the port side. You can see it's been really cleaned up nicely. Here's that extra car that I've put on the track. And you can see that the holes are 5 16 and significantly deeper so it locks nicely those are the track ends it's secured this won't come out uh, anyway none of the cars can get past this point because of the pin in this uh, chain plate here you can see it's all shiny so another little project that we've been meaning to do is install a another one-way valve in the water maker product water line so anyone that has a water maker they will tell you don't get air into your membrane and unfortunately every time we turn it off I can see bubbles working their way back the product water line back into the membrane I haven't run into any issues as of yet but I will rather just be on the safe side so click this little half inch one-way valve and in the back of this abyss cabinet just before the water is expelled into the sink where we do the testing I'll be installing this guy there so you can see in the top left is where you can test the water where it goes into the sink so I'm going to install on that top hose Somewhere along there, a one-way valve. There you have it. Check valve installed. Now, previously, 
there wouldn't have been any water in this pipe. You can see there's water here and a splash of air over there. Turn on the high pressure pump. Now crank on that. Focus on this product water line where you see air bubbles move. There's far less. And what was previously happening was causing boost creep where the high pressure gauge even though I set it on the black triangle, it would land up creeping, creeping, creeping as air was being uh, pushed out of the membrane. It has made a difference throwing in that check valve, but it hasn't fully solved this problem. See, I, that's not ideal to see all that air coming out. I hope to eventually have it where there's no air making it back to the membrane. But I don't think that check valve is the right type of check valve for this situation and I don't think it's installed in the correct location. Please let me know down in the comments what I can do differently to improve this installation. Thank you.